have you used a family planning method that has messed with your body messed with your weight messed with your menses messed with your psycho messed with your uh, libido yeah messed with your mood swings yeah and you 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 look like a monster now and you don't like the person you have become now today i'm going to give you some family planning methods that really do not use hormones non-hormonal family planning methods Karibu to my YouTube channel. My name is Wanjiko Moturi. I am a clinician, a mental health awareness advocate, and your content creator, your YouTuber upcoming. So subscribe. Non-hormonal family planning methods. The first one is definitely the withdrawal. Yeah, the withdrawal. It, it works. It works. If it works for you, if you can be able to push him as, as, <laughs> as soon as you see it's going to get air, you just do it. If he jumps, he's a jumper. Well and good you do it you do you okay the other one number two is chatting your cycle okay you can chat your cycle and be able to know your safe days and your most fertile days and so when you are on your safe days you can have it nicely with no problem and when you're in your most fertile days as a way of family planning you can use number three male and female condoms yes male and female condoms uh, i did an, an illustration on how to wear male and a female condoms on my tiktok but i'll bring it on youtube so do not worry if you do not know how to wear it there's a video the other one is something called a diaphragm okay so what is a diaphragm a diaphragm is a device that is fitted right into your vagina just up or to the cervix to block entry of any sperms into your cervix uh, through your cervix into your uterus to your fallopian tubes for fertilization sour so it blocks it blocks the entry of sperms through your cervix okay the other one is called an iud or an iucd intrauterine uh, device or intrauterine contraceptive device these ones there are two types one is hormonal the other one is not so we are going to talk about the non-hormonal one the non-hormonal one is called the copper t okay t is a shape it adapts and copper is a mechanism okay rather the technique it uses to do the whole family planning okay copper is known for sterilizing sperm so when a sperm gets into the same environment with the copper it gets sterilized and it cannot be able to fertilize an ovum it loses its, its ability to fertilize in simple simple language okay so that is how the copper tea works when it is it is fitted into your uterus and sterilizes sperms as they come okay the other one tubal ligation okay tubal ligation can be permanent and can be temporary okay so you ask before you get it this is a tying of tubes so that an ovum cannot be able to go through and uh, get fertilized. Okay, so again, it can be temporary or it can, or it can be permanent. Okay, so ask before you get it. The other thing that you really don't have to do it as a lady, sometimes we get assistance from the men, is vasectomy. Yes, it really works. We stop worrying about the whole fleet of ladies that he might have. <laughs> yes yes i just said that so vasectomy can be permanent again and can be temporary so please ask before you get it and make sure it is either permanent or temporary and there's evidence it is either temporary especially temporary okay before you get it so yeah men can help us even uh qua family planning so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe i need a family for me to be able to create this content for yes and get me to a thousand subscribers please yes please <laughs> thank you karibu sana next time bye